Uh, all right, we're back and ready to go. Let's uh, let the teams know. So we are here with SSGS against Simp on Dragon Ridge. And see what the loadouts here are. Okay, so we see those T50-2s. As, as we, uh, we had discussed the possible T50-2s, SSGS is a little light here with the AMX 5100 Lorraine Type 59. That's, that's interesting. They're definitely expecting to get quickly somewhere. Where that is, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, hopefully they do try and control a little bit here in the middle of the map. And uh, Simp, on the other hand, running a little heavier, obviously with that IS-3. I, this will be very interesting to see. I, I'm really curious to see how this plays out. This will be really interesting because these teams are very different compositions. All right. Now that we've been eliminated, well, somebody still needs to get you. We can start hopping around here and telling you what's going on. All right, so we've got... All right, so Simp sending some lights. This vehicle is heading. Uh, they have a lot of lights, actually. I just I just realized that looking at Simp's team, they have a lot of lights. Uh, four four different lights. So very, mo very mobile teams. Definitely seeing some very mobile teams here. SSGS has a AMX 5100, a Lorraine, a Type 59, a T29, an S51, and a 50 2. So they're trying to get aggressively out to probably these corners of the map here at an E2. Uh, looks like they're holding the corner there at G7. So, oh, there we go. We've got some people utilizing that middle road you were talking about before. So, what do you think about the Type 59? I think that's kind of the odd man out here. I would assume. That, that feels a little odd to me to have a Type 59 in this battle. As far as tier 8 mediums go, I mean, it's essentially a scaled down T54, right? With a, oh, a more fragile ammo rack. But yeah, yeah, much more. <laughs> uh, quite frankly, if I had to choose a medium to play, the Lorraine, maybe with a 90 mil to have a shorter reload, especially if you're firing gold. And we do see one in here. We do see a Lorraine in here. But the Type 59 can probably take it in a one on one. All he's got to do is bounce one or two rounds, and then this he's. Is true. He's got I, that. We see that it looks like there's kind of a spotting war going on here, trying to move their move their fast tanks around, try and figure out where the other guys are positioned. Simp is now still not lighting the T29 hidden back oh, there. They okay, just there found we it. go. They just found it. Uh, he obviously knew he was there. Six cents probably popped off for him, so he just kept going further and further back until he got it. Yep, and he finally did find him. So he knows where that T29 is. But that's not the real crucial tanks to find. It's the AMX and the Lorraine that you really want to know where they are. Definitely. Up, oh, and there we see the AMX 50 down in that in that little ravine there. So that's a pretty crucial spot. That's a pretty crucial spot. Speaking of the Lorraine, we've got it here. Looks like Simp's Pershing just got dropped. Uh, Simp uh, given the position of these tanks here, we've got Simp aligned almost exclusively in the northwest. So it looks like they're trying to play a little bit of a defensive ring around their artillery. They, yeah, they, they seem to, it, it seems they've decided the center is really the key point because they're putting all their eggs in that basket. Pretty much everything is right there in the center. I don't disagree with that by principle, but if you look at it, and obviously uh, SSGS can't see the same thing we can see, but their cap is wide open. Yes. And if SSGS just does a little bit of prodding, starts yeah, driving yeah. their 50-2, they will find a gap back there. They can put it on the cap, do what we were talking about during the break, which is split the attention of Simp. Simp either has to go back or press forward, and quite frankly, going back is the only answer because you have to stop the cap somehow. Totally, and pushing can be really dangerous on this map if the enemy is making better use of cover. You're moving, you're much more likely to be spotted. Uh, with the amount of firepower that's here in these French tanks, I, I wouldn't want to push against that. Oh, but oh. they did get their T-50-2, so Fantastic that... Fantastic shot. It was a beautiful shot, that's... 
given the damage range on the IS-3, that had to either been an ammo rack or the entire crew died. But looking at the fact that this tank is burning, I would say he probably got ammo racked, <laughs> which is a pretty thing, easy thing to do to a 50-2. I mean, it if is. you shoot it straight on the front, it's going to go through almost every module in the tank before that round comes clear out the back, especially with a BL-9. Well, it's such a small tank. You know, they're, they're just, everything's packed so close together. So it looks like we're still, there's still a lot of, a lot of kind of positional play. Ooh. Getting a report from Simp here that they're getting some sort of latency issues. Oh, uh, it's not hard for us to believe, considering the fact that we're we, on the we, same internet. It's been yeah. kind of hanky here at E3 for the past hour or so. Uh, last I heard, they're trying to replace some sort of switch or something that had gone bad. But yeah, as a it whole, looks like that lag came at a terrible time. Uh, Simp just totally lagged out, allowing the opposing team, SSGS, to. To just roll that mat, roll them. I mean, not much you can do if you're la you know, if you're if you're disconnected. Not much they could do in that situation. Definitely not. As T29 versus a 50-2, he's about six seconds from being loaded. And I can't imagine. Yeah, you can definitely tell that Sims 50-2 is lagging. Yes. That is in no way, shape, or form the way that yep. anybody drives yeah, immediately. Yeah, he's just going or, right sorry, straight into that dead hole there. Yeah, so, it's so he is definitely getting that red dot. Uh, in fact, both of us shoutcasters are actually getting the red dot too, so I'm not entirely sure you guys are even hearing yeah, this. Yeah, we're Hopefully hoping to have this are. fixed here really soon within the next hour. So everybody hang tight. We should have this fixed in the next hour. We're actually replacing some hardware that we've been having issues with.